When I came here, of course, it was to complete a dream that uh, we discussed at the Chelsea Hotel in, I believe, around 1972, 73, with my two masters, Antonio Lopez and Charles James. What the dream was, though, from Antonio's perspective and Charles' perspective was to have a building, a brownstone building, and where you have your gallery space, your exhibition space, the basement where you can store your fabrics or ideas, apartments upstairs that when you discover a talented young individual, whether they're a musician or an actor, anything that is really in need of having a space to create, they would have then the possibility of selling their products in the space downstairs, which would be their shop, and live upstairs and not have to worry about high rents. As they generate an income, therefore, they are reaching a point where they're producing a product that is bought and money is made, and that money then has to be given back to the community. So what I am doing now is doing exactly what that plan was that was discussed during the Bohemian days where if you are aware of the Chelsea Hotel, it was like nothing but crazy artists living in there, dreaming of how to help the future of our planet grow. Why I picked Kingston is because of the history of uh, Kingston. But when I came up Broadway one day, I go, wow, this is like Brooklyn in the 1970s. And then I also realized that, wow, this is like Brooklyn. We have many different races here, stores around here. Uh, we have some incredible stores. And the building just came out of nowhere. There was a sign for uh, sale. And I said, wow, that's exactly what my dream was, you know, a brownstone.